In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a hanging indent in PowerPoint. If you've ever worked on a presentation that required a bit of a bibliographic touch, or just wanted to neatly align your text for a cleaner look, mastering the hanging indent feature can elevate the visual appeal of your slides significantly. To begin, the journey starts with opening Microsoft PowerPoint on your computer. Whether you're working with a PC or Mac, the process remains quite similar. Open the application and you're greeted with either the home screen or a blank slide, depending on your settings. From the opening screen or your recent documents list, navigate to the file you wish to edit. If it's a new project, simply start with a blank presentation. Once your desired file is open and ready, scout the slide that contains the paragraph or bullet points you want to format with a hanging indent. Now comes the formatting part. Look towards the top of your uh, PowerPoint window and you'll see a variety of tabs. Click on the Home tab to reveal an array of options for editing text, among other things. It's within this tab that PowerPoint houses most of its text formatting features, and it's where we'll be working from. Next, direct your attention to the paragraph group within the Home tab. Here, nestled among other formatting icons, you'll find a small square with an arrow in the bottom right corner known as the Paragraph Dialog Box Launcher. Click on it and a dialog box will pop up, giving you more detailed control over text formatting. In this dialog box, you'll want to adjust the before text value under the indentation section. This adjustment will determine how far your hanging indent extends. Typically, a value of 0.5 inches works well, but feel free to experiment with what looks best for your presentation. After adjusting the indentation, look for the special drop-down menu within the same indentation section. Click on it and a small menu will appear. From the options available, select Hanging. This action tells PowerPoint that you want the first line of your paragraph or bullet point to stay at the margin, while the rest indent to the value you specified earlier. To finalize, click the OK button. This will apply the hanging indent to your selected paragraph or bullet points. Voila, you've successfully created a hanging indent in PowerPoint adding a polished touch to your presentation. Throughout the process, remember that experimenting and fine-tuning are key. Depending on the content and context of your presentation, the ideal indentation may vary. Feel free to adjust the before text value as needed to achieve the perfect look. Creating a hanging indent in PowerPoint is a simple, yet effective way to enhance your presentation's professionalism and readability. By following these steps, you can achieve a clean, organized look that will surely impress your audience and elevate your presentation game. Remember, practice makes perfect. So don't hesitate to keep exploring PowerPoint's wide range of formatting features to further refine your presentations. With a little bit of creativity and understanding, the possibilities are endless. That's all for today's video on how to create a hanging indent in PowerPoint. I hope you found this instruction helpful and easy to follow. Happy presenting and stay tuned for more tips and tricks on making the most out of your PowerPoint presentations.